Well, happy 4th of July to all you Ale Horn Army. And I'm just out in my backyard and we are, uh, well, a few weeks ago, I tried a smoke and some ribs and it didn't work out very well. And as I mentioned then, what I can do a lot better is what I, what I like to do is a Dutch oven because I can put it in there and I can make a very nice pork butt is what I did today. So I've been out here for about four, well, I haven't been out in my backyard for four hours, but I've been working on it for four hours and I just pulled off the top and oh wow, the pork butt bone just is falling apart, falling out. So I'm going to be uh, showing you how I got there, but let's take a look at it right now. Dutch oven been sitting here on our hot Dutch oven table. And take a look at that. Huh? I wish I had smell o vision Because oh my god, that smells good. Put this back on for the time being. And let's go back. Let's go back to the start. This morning when I was setting everything up. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare the Dutch oven. Now Dutch ovens you can with no problem at all you can just put the meat right in if you want to with this pork butt but i'm going to do something a little bit different just easier to clean up it's up to you if you want to do it with your own dutch oven it's real simple though. i've greased the inside of the uh, dutch oven and i just put i'm just putting some tin foil in here that way uh, when i'm done i can just pull the tin foil out and just toss and it makes it a little bit easier to clean up i usually put a couple of layers of Heavy duty Reynolds wrap. Heavy duty just because it's heavy duty. Just make it the best you can to totally seal all along the edge. And if you tear like I did there, just to make sure, just take a little bit and I just slap a little bit there. It's no big deal. So now I'll put it underneath. And it doesn't hurt to move this slightly just to get the tear in a different spot. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Wrap it over the edge once you get there. And then for ease, I usually cut the edge off. Just cut off uh, all the extra excess all the way around the edge. But that's all you need. And then I'm going to take and just spray the inside with some spray release. Just a little bit of spray spray stuff there. So that's all that is to it to prepare. Okay. So we sprayed a little bit of stuff in there and now I'm gonna add in something on the bottom that's gonna raise the uh, pork butt up off the bottom while it's cooking so it's not directly on the metal. And that's just thick sliced onions. Sure, it's going to have flavor, but it's definitely going to uh, pick it up off the bottom, and that's really important, just to make sure that we aren't directly on the directly on the metal as we're cooking. So that's all there is to that. Now I'm going to put in the pork butt. I've got that with. I think I'll put the fat fatter side down right now because I didn't get any, uh, uh, got salt and pepper and garlic powder on there. Or I should say granulated garlic, it's not garlic powder. Have a little bit more I gotta get on this side. Okay. Now, I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes and let the salt and all the seasonings kind of go into it. And then we will uh, seep into it and then we're going to be ready to put it in and put it on the coals. So that's where we're at right now. I'm also going to put in a little bit of a marinade. Now you can take marinade and you can just marinate something with it, but also you can take a marinade packet 
and you can cook with it too. You know I mean, especially if you just put mix it with some water and put that water a little bit on top and then have it down below. Uh, don't need too much because you're going to have a lot of moisture in this, but just a little bit of this is going to add a lot of seasoning. So that's the next step. Okay, now I have put the, uh, the marinade powder right on. I kind of used it as a rub, lay a rub and just a seasoning. Put it on top, a little bit on top, and then the rest of it goes down uh, the sides. So it's going to mix in with the uh, liquids as it goes. Uh, as I'm going to set this away for, let it set here for about a half hour. So I'm just going to cover it up. You'll notice I cut off the tin foil. So now we're ready to go whenever I get the coals up and running. Now, put some of these on top. Right, so now it's got to sit there for about an hour, and we will have, uh, a, at that point we'll take a look at it and see where we're at, but right now I've put a, about two cups of uh, broth in with it, and it's really easy, guys, to do this. It really is. I mean, as long as you check in, uh, it's sealed real well with that heavy cover, as long as you check in and make sure you got some liquid on the bottom, it's almost impossible to screw up because it can't burn, really. It's real hot right now, but the coals are gonna die out, so the temperature continues to get lower. And then you gotta come in and you gotta put new stuff on it. So that's why I'm putting some uh, charcoal briquettes on the lit ones, on some of the unlit ones, because the heat's gonna start those up. That's the important thing, is get these lit ones touching the unlit ones and they're going to start them. It's going to be a long hot day. We try to put them along the outside, not necessarily inside. And we'll see how this goes. Well, let's go take a look. We've been headed out here close to an hour and I'm going to see what's going on in the Dutch oven. First off, Put on a glove, and I guess I've got to come over here and grab my little piece of equipment to take the top off. Let's take a look. Well, that's what we got going so far. With a little less than an hour, we got a few hours left. A, a simmering looking good and boy the smell from that powdered marinade that I decided to cook it in is just phenomenal anyway you can see that the coals are kind of burning off I'm gonna to have to put new coals in in another 15 20 minutes um, but underneath here same scenario now these are burning down they're still going but the top ones are burning off quicker anyway we'll check it a little bit later Well, we're out here working on my Dutch oven, a big old pork butt roast, and here in Arizona, that's what it's like in your backyard. So all you guys complaining about 90 degrees, no sympathy. 
So we're just having a little day spending most of the time inside. But what we got right now is I got some new coals and new coals on top, new coals underneath, and it's looking good. Going two hours, probably gonna have another two hours before we're gonna be uh, done. It's gonna be done when I can grab the blade bone and pull it right out of the meat. Hey, Mauser, what are you doing? Huh? You sit down? Huh? My boy's even coming out in the heat to be with me. Good boy, yes. So Zane, come here. Come here, boy. This is Zane. Zane and Mauser there. Zane the three-year-old. Out here with me checking. Checking out, we walked out. We're checking to see how things are coming along with our uh, big old pork butt roast. And let's take a look. All right. Oh, it's done. Look at that bone just fall out of there. That is done. Okay, let's take a look and see where we're at. Oh boy, it's about four hours on the coals. And here's how you tell how it's working. That bone pulled right out. So, what do we got here? We've got a fall apart pork butt. Just slow cooking on coals, the backyard in this Dutch oven. What a way to do a fourth, huh? And I wish you all the best fourth, and now it's time for me to dig in. Okay, having a little bit of a brew here on my tumbler. So, I guess we should just say skull. And enjoy your fourth. And if you got dogs, keep them safe during all the fireworks. Have a great day.